What's up gamer girls, it's me Banana, and there were a couple more changes on the alpha that were not in any patch notes, but are pretty useful for anyone who is doing stuff on the garden. So if this video helps you out, I'd really appreciate a subscription down below because you could be my 69,000th subscriber and that's cool, I think. So what they added to the garden is actually a pretty nice thing for the pest bestiaries and just for your first hour of farming getting into the day because a lot of people really like to be farming with that pest hunter bonus active and without it active, you know, you're losing out on up to 200 farming fortune. So what they added, if we go into chat here, is you're going to see that offline pests are going to spawn. I'm not sure how long it takes for these pests to actually spawn in, but I had eight pests immediately when I showed up on my garden and another great thing is that the vacuum got super buffed so I'm using this max vacuum here and you're gonna see that if I am within 15 blocks I'm able to get the pest in the vacuum which is way way more than it currently is I don't know the actual number of what the range currently is, but it is not 15 blocks. It is not you can stand this high above them and <laughs> suck them off, <laughs> but this is going to mean that pests are easier to pick up. Pests are easier to get the bestiaries on because you don't actually need to be farming all the time to do them. And then if you just want to turn off pests, it's going to be much quicker because you got that max bestiary earlier on and you can just start using the pest repellent max. Obviously, this means that that the first bit of every time you go onto your garden is going to be you just picking up eight pests. But I don't think that that's that much of an issue because as I said, it'll get you some pests towards your pest hunter bonus. It'll get you just some skyblock XP off the bestiary and it'll clean up your garden for the start of you farming 100% because I don't think that a pest would immediately spawn in afterwards after you get rid of the eight that are gonna be here. So yeah, offline pest spawning is a thing. That Vacuum got super buffed. Also, there's this new portable washer. This is going to dunk yourself in a bucket of water that smells of sunshine and rainbows, and this will get rid of all active spray spray-inator effects, which I know that a lot of people definitely would be asking for because going into a contest with the spray spray-inator active means that you're more likely to be annoyed during a contest and get too many pests active. So this is just going to be able to remove that. And also the buffs to the vacuum range is based on the rarity of the vacuum. So the common is only going to have the standard five block range, but then it goes up to 7.5, then 10, then 12 and a half. And then finally the 15 block range at the legendary area. So yeah, this is overall just a pretty nice buff to the garden here. I'm sure that this is going to be some nice quality of life where you can just reach things more. And this should be coming out very soon with the general's medallion and the the couple pet changes. It seems like the primal dragon armor stuff is a little bit delayed here, but we should get the rest of it kind of soon. So be on the lookout for that. And that's going to be it for this video. Hope it kept you informed and I'll talk to you in the next one. Peace out.